Hey guys, this is Magician Yatunand here with the explanation to the six ball mind reading effect. It is really simple, anyone can do it once you know the secret. What you need are five balls of one color. I'm using five peach balls and one ball of a different color for which I'm using a yellow ball. And you will also need a plastic or a paper bag. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that you shouldn't be able to see through the bag or else the trick doesn't work and one more very important thing uh, why should we learn magic? why do we need to learn sleight of hand? well the most important thing is there is no bond that is more powerful than two people who share a secret so this will help you strengthen the relationship with the person whoever is taking part in your show so let's get started. Okay guys, here's the method. I'm going to be teaching you a skill in magic we call palming. Now palming is the ability to hold something in your hand without the audience being aware of it. So here's the explanation. Hold the bag in your left hand, drop the five peach balls or the five similar colored balls into the bag. Now when you get to the one different colored ball, here's the secret, you don't actually drop it into the bag, you hold it in your hand. You have it hidden in your hand and you hold the bag along with it, like this. So in truth, there are only five balls inside the bag and there's one ball inside of your hand. This is called palming, right? Now that we're done with this, we can head into the audience selection process. So with the audience, we have to instruct them and we need to tell them a few things. Number one, they cannot look into the bag when they select the balls. Number two, they cannot look around for a particular ball and grab one. The reason for this is, if they reach inside and they do that, they will be able to tell that there are only five balls and not six. Because the sixth one is hidden in your hand. So, you instruct them to not look inside the bag and to not search around for a particular ball inside the bag. You let the first person pick one ball. Reach inside, pick one. The second person reaches inside, picks one. The third person reaches inside and the fourth. Here's where the secret happens. Once the fourth person has selected the ball, you drop the ball from your hand inside the bag. You can hear it if you listen closely. So that was me dropping the ball from my hand into the bag. So now we've got two people left and we've got two balls left. And we let the fifth person pick one ball and the final person picks one ball. The trick is practically over now. And I'll tell you why. So far we had six people with six possibilities of the ball being somewhere. But now, we know that the ball either has to be with the fifth person or it has to be with the sixth person. We have reduced it down to one of two people. Here's the brilliance of it. You look at the fifth person and you say, ma'am, please open your hand. And when they open their hand, if they have a yellow ball, the trick is over. If they have selected the yellow ball, you ask the others to show everyone that they have peach balls. If you all open your hand and show the camera that you've got a peach ball, that's the effect. Or there is one more thing that could happen. There's a chance that she has picked a peach ball and the last person has picked the yellow ball. So I'd like you to exchange it for once. Now everybody close your hand up again. Okay, perfect. Now the possibility. Again, this might have happened. So I say, ma'am, please open your hand and she's got a peach ball. Here's what we do. Now we make the show a little longer. Okay, you've got a peach ball. Okay. Now, so open your hand and show that you have a peach ball. Hmm. So open your hand, show you have a peach ball. You have a peach. Of course, you have a peach ball as well. When you notice that the fifth person has got a peach ball in their hand, you start revealing all of the other people with a peach ball. And for the grand finale, for the finish, you can ask the final person to reveal that it is them who has a yellow ball. 
So that was the explanation to the six ball mind reading effect and uh, there is a reason why we have chosen a ball for this. When you play any game that requires a ball, you always involve more than one person, right? There is one person to throw and there is one person to catch, there is one person to kick, the other to receive. So anything using a ball always involves more than one person. Plus, kids, if you are interested in magic, this is a great place to learn. This was one of the very first effects that I learned uh, and that I was able to come up with for this moment in time. So it would be really easy. And here's another really brilliant idea. A child and a parent can perform this together. The child is the magician. The parent is the one holding the ball in the bag. The parent will go around showing the bag to the audience members and the child can read the audience mind. So it's sort of like a pen and teller tag team duo that you can have going on which can really impress your friends or your co-workers or whoever you show it to. So I think it's a fantastic opportunity if you're interested in magic. You've got a great place to start. Thank you.